Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I just got back from Buffalo, New York, and before I left, I met up with an awesome subscriber by the name of Ryan Lamb, and this is his favorite donut place to have donuts in Buffalo, New York, and it's called Paula's Donuts, and uh, he said, uh, this was his favorite one. This is called the Headlight, the Headlight. And uh, but look how many donuts he gave me a whole dozen, and they're the biggest donuts I think I've ever seen. Uh, donuts usually don't come this size, and this the thickness of them is insane. So I'm gonna. I obviously I can't eat all of them in one shot. Uh, what I'm gonna do is do a few taste tests of the ones that I would like to try. I definitely want to try the one that Ryan. Uh, thinks is or knows that his favorite one and I have to do this tonight as soon as I got home because they're gonna go stale by tomorrow if I don't do it now and I want to eat them as fresh as they can or as fresh as I can as fresh as they are something like that so I'm gonna cut this one see what's inside it oh my gosh oh boy check that out people it is like a lava flow of cream one of my one of my old old favorite donut uh, donuts of all time would be the chocolate with the cream in the center. When I was younger, as I got older, I kind of shied away from that and started eating something along this line, which is the uh, sour cream glazed. But this looks like a sour cream glazed with something else in it, maybe with cherries. Uh, but my daughter already took half of that. Ben took half of this jelly jelly donut but let's get into it before I talk your ear off here we go oh boy that's gonna keep me up tonight all that sugar mmm the actual donut dough is, is perfectly it is that perfect awesome donut taste and flavor uh, and then of course you got the tons of sugar on top as the sprinkles are falling off the dog's getting them so shoot the dog not shoot the dog but videotape them <laughs> he wants just a little piece of donut we'll give him just a little piece of donut here you go what do you think of Paula's donuts oh you're not getting the sugar part okay so I could totally see why excuse me why Ryan liked that one. Let's do a little bit of this one. This is the one I think I would like the most. Mmm, yeah, cherry. It's like maraschino cherries in there. Wow, that is really, again, it's all sugar, that one. Uh, let's do two more. I kind of already did that one. Ben already did this one. So I'm gonna eat another piece of it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, check that out. Oh, jelly. It's a jelly donut. Mmm. Not bad. Again, I like those when I was younger. It's just too much. I don't like the too much donuts anymore. Um, last but not least, I wish this was interactive. Then you guys could tell me which one you want me to do next. Uh, this one, actually, let's try this one. This looks like a um, red velvet glazed donut, sour cream, because it's like a cake as opposed to a donut. Red velvet seems to be the thing that people like recently in chocolate, uh, in their coffee, red velvet lattes and things like that. So let's give that a shot. Mmm. So the cake red velvet sour cream kind of thing is the is my favorite at this point in time. Okay, one more. Okay. Oh. I was wondering if there was something in this one. It looks like there is possibly chocolate inside there. I may have just folded. Maybe not. I should cut it one more time. Yeah, there's something in here. It's like maybe a cinnamon bun. This uh at uh one of the donut stores here in Canada, this would be uh I have like a fritter, an apple, usually an apple fritter or blueberry fritter. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Oh, I have to that up my alley too. It's a fritter with cinnamon 
all all through it. I think there's like lines of cinnamon on the outside cinnamon. Of course, the glaze all over that. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, first, I'd love to thank Ryan for meeting me in uh, Buffalo, New York, when I was there today uh, doing a whole bunch of food reviews. I told uh, on my social medias where where I was, and he said, "Oh, I'd love to meet you." So, and he goes, "Do you mind if I bring you some donuts?" And I'm like, "No, go ahead." So he brought this, and when all those donuts are in that box, it's got to be two to three pounds. It's unbelievable how heavy it was. Maybe four to five pounds, that's how heavy it was. But I'd love to thank Ryan Lamb for uh, giving me these uh, donuts to share with the family and, of course, the dog. All right, guys, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop!